Alright, let's go. Let's go, bingo bambo, bingo bongo, let's go. Yikers, yikes. Okay, let's go. Um, hello. Oh my god. Alright, um, oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, um, hello. It's me. A man, bitch. We got the chat on my computer keyboard. You see. I get my lips lubed up. Phew. Okay. Why do I put that fucking sword in there? Okay. We can put that there, that there, that there. I tried those word. Six. 
Okay. Wait, okay, can you speak? Yeah. Let's go. Alright. What's good? Opinion? Very cool. John, guess the song. I don't know. I don't. I don't know either. I made it up. All right. Um, That's great. Coco Cabana. John, I need to get 10 stacks of spruce wood. Actually, not you 10 stacks. I... I need to get fucking... Actually, like, 14, 15 stacks. Go, 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 banana. I heard like fucking crows in the background and I f I thought like a Oh no that's a chill that's a child. Oh Oh is that a child or is that a bird? I cannot tell. Alright, I can lag. confirm it's not a dying child. John. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It's like, I don't know. It might be a bird. It might be a fox. It could be a... It's most likely a thing killing another thing. But it's not a human being. And it is currently 3.20 a.m. So I'm not trying to leave my house right now. That's crazy. If there is a dead child in my bush, that's not my fault, okay? 
Okay, I'm a witness. Yep. Dude, why does it do this? Okay, I'm actually so confused, bro. What? Okay, I downloaded Forge mods, basically. It's Forge mods and other mods, but then, like, it just compl- like, it does it's not like lag, but it just freezes my game occasionally. Hmm. It's so weird, like, sometimes it doesn't do it. And sometimes I'll just, like, turn my camera and it just freezes. Wait, it stopped. Let's go. Let's go, it stopped, hold on. Like Roblox. Life is Roblox. Hey, Kakashi. Dude, why does this stupid auto sprint not work? This is the worst monster ever. Why can't it just auto sprint? Well, there might be a, there's a dead animal most likely, John, so. That's great. Or it was a skin crawler that just ate a cat or something. Yeah. I, I, it sounded like a baby crying, so I thought I was about to fucking be haunted by fucking who knows what. I thought I was about to be spooked by, like, fucking who knows. John, what's a spooky, scary guy? Scary guy. Name a spooky guy. Probably little, maybe Jeffrey Epstein. The ghost of Jeffrey Epstein. How was it? The baby crying. It was. Wait, what are you talking about? Huh? I think, I, I think, I, I don't know. Because, like, I might be being haunted, you know? Oh, yeah, you probably are. Yeah. I think it's Jeffrey Epstein, though. Think about it. It sounded like a baby crying slightly. But then it's like a it sounded like a baby crying mixed with a like freaking just a crow. So it probably was like it's probably like a fox got a bird or something. But like it could have been like cat. It could have been a cat and a fox or something. I don't know. Okay, so it turns out the mod that I have is blacklisted on Hypixel, so I should probably not be trying to use this. John, you're silly. Well, I was trying to figure out why it wasn't working. I Let's guess go. that's why. Tiger biome stick. I know where to put that. Yep. Alright. Directly into your anus. Mm hmm. I am currently live, John. So. Ah. Let's go. Look, if you're not doing that, bro, what are you supposed to do with sticks, right? Bro. That's great. Like, look, I'm just saying, right? Actually, I'm suing you, you know, because you can't be filming me without my, uh... I kind of told you, and you said, yeah, okay. That one time, remember? Sounds like a skill And you said, issue. you said, remember that one time issue. you said I should, like, two minutes ago, John? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What about that? What, what about that? Right before you went to get a certain drink of whatever you drink, probably fucking... What do you drink? I can't say fucking day. like um what's it called? What does what does Max drink? Fucking Fanta? Yeah, Fanta and like I don't even know what. Uh, 
Womp womp. Is this not a thousand spruce? Is this... Look at this. No, Congrats on... Okay. I'm probably like... F f like a stack short. Well, let's go. Let's see. Wait, that's... That's nine. No, 11. Okay, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Alright, this mod should work. That's enough. Is it? Wait, no, it's not. I'm stupid. Okay. Install. <laughs> Step one. Get Curse Forge. That's like... No. predisposition to having anal prolapse who knows but that's what I wonder oh, wait this is one config hold on he's like bro this is actually good like let me, let me download oh. this safe cause like <laughs> probably well yeah but like is it just like Oh, if you have genetics where you just have a loose a like ass, like what? Yeah, probably. Not, oh yeah, I, that, that's loose rectum. Is it? Is it feeling any? Are you feeling any floppage? I'm feeling a very large lump. That's probably your appendix. They may have misplaced it. Want want for the chat yeah. watching? I got my appendix removed. Like four days ago. No way, I dude. Know. I think I can finally join and have toggle sprint. Bro, is not a campfire cultist. I'm turning down my brightness because I'm about to get. <gasps> What is Junior about how he hears every time I'm breathing the fucking mic? I can hear myself right now and I know I'm not breathing in the mic right now. Well, now you aren't. Sometimes I can hear you breathing into it. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I just like swallowed really fast and then like my entire like stomach it felt like you hiccuped. Yeah. I can't I can't sneeze or cough because then it feels like my like my like the incisions that I had made like you know are um, yeah. about gonna like are gonna explode you know when that happens yeah yeah common thing yeah so gotta be careful careful now why is it doing this now? <laughs> 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 
Think about that. Nah, roll it all back. Think about that. Nah, roll it all back. Think about that. Nah, roll it all back. Alright, beloved. I've limited myself to 10 frames per second. This is not looking great. GeForce RTX drivers not installed. Alright, 120 looks a lot better. John, do you have all of your drivers installed? Yes. Are you sure? I'm quite sure. Did you go through every single part manual, go to their website, and download all the possible drivers? No. John, you might want to do that. Why? Um, Because whenever I got my computer, uh, my computer kept crashing because I didn't have the right drivers installed. And guess what? They didn't well, install automatically. They kind of, you know, you kind of had to. Mine's not know. crashing. No. Well, you see, yours is lagging. It's so only you lagging. might not have your fucking RTX mod like modules or whatever. Your fucking. No, it's it's I don't know why it's lagging. But it's not because that. Because it really works on every single other game. It's not going to make my Minecraft lag. Uh, stopped i don't know why it does it but i just have to like stand still for a little bit and then it goes away oh never mind it's because it, oh, it's the chunk loading <laughs> hold on you know what it might be no, okay. i want to open minecraft launcher You have been B, if I, I'll keep more RAM to it. Murdered be Settings. Do you have 50 grams of methamphetamine on you by chance? Yep. I'm gonna need that, but uh. I'm applying runes, John. Just making sure runes are don't do jack, right? Yeah, no. They don't do anything. Have you ever jacked a man? No. Okay. John, you can admit it. It's fine. We should kill some Endermen. You should kill some Endermen. Well, well, we should both kill Endermen together. But first, how do I get a combat sack? Hey, yo. Sack of... Is it husbandry? No, that's not... Why is husbandry fucking mud and I want to kill myself? Not actually. I want to game in myself, I'm sorry. What? Combat set. Dude, 
Come with me, and you'll see. I will be with you next time. Well. John, what's your opinion on that? Stop it. You're going to make all the people leave if I'm watching. The total of zero viewers we have right now. Exactly. They're all going to leave. John. It just loads chunks so right slowly. There. How do I turn off lazy chunk loading? Right there, buddy. Nice. Just shut up. Now I'm gonna watch you to just you know. Just put, put your lips on mine. Andrew, I still hear you stop it. You know, fuck it. I'm putting it at eight chunks. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. I <laughs> get it back to normal. This looks normal. What's. Have you unlocked the recipe for. And then. 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 Okay. Let's see. Had a fetus in her hand and a Had the coca Coco Cabana Are there any runes that actually do anything or is it all cosmetic? It's all cosmetic. That's stupid. They should make one that's r like really overpowered, you know? Wow, that's crazy, Blevins. Maybe <laughs> everyone would use that one. Well, maybe that's the point. It, it's just... Make ones that, like, oh. apply... Like, make them apply potion debuffs or something. Potion debuffs? Yeah. Blevins, that's a terrible idea. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Like, make it... Like, make it so, like, if you hit one with, like, a one, like, it gives, like, the mobs, you know, like, nausea, right? So they start, like, their, like, walk path pattern is, like, wavy, and they, like, sometimes, like, they start walking they around ran aimlessly, aimlessly, so. It should give you nausea. Well, yeah, but, John, that's, that's not, that's not good, you know. John, that's why. That's why they should have Pepto Bismol to counteract it. Genius. I know. I'm just Love him. John, I know. Kill yourself right now. Why did you take the? You took the compactor out of the snow minion. Now it's useless. Yeah, because I had to craft a better thing. You know. Oh, that's let me great. let me use my handy little personal compactor 4000 so I can compact these ender pearls I can get my necro lord let's go and it goes right back in and coca again. coco cabana that's great New as a sugar. Do, 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 do. 
Coca, Coca Cabana. Bro, I wish I could just get fucking. They should make upgrades for your pets that allow you to reduce the time that reco that um it it has. I mean, I mean that like m like increases the time that it has for combo. You mean like for Grandma Wolf? Yeah. Dude, just upgrade her rarity and it does that. Yeah, but you got max. It's still like two seconds. What what level? What I I I've, I've leveled like like um I I've legendary. Oh okay. And it's still ass. I don't use it. I use Griffin. Me as well. I use Griffin mainly for magic find and. Cause it gives me the uh, intelligence as well. Actually, do it. Yeah. I actually haven't had Griffin out. Then why did I get a combo then? Dude, Grandma Wolf well, works while it's not out. Oh. That's that's the whole point of her ability. That's cool. Why am I using that? Okay, there. Levens. Okay, I'm coming to. I'm coming to mine. Or. Yeah, do the thing with the end of pearls. I want to do the thing. With Thanks you, Bucko boy. Now come over here. Let me just clap him. Jonathan, will you be my beloved tonight? Coco Cabana. John, will you be my Coco Cabana? Well, how long is this gonna take? Mm, about 50. How much more do we need? Like 10k? What? Collection. Oh, pearls? Yeah. We need 7.5k. That's not that bad. You should come here. There you are. Levens, if you give me the damn compactor, I'll do it. Mm -hmm. But I need the compactor. Yeah, well, if you want this to get done, then you better give me the damn Well, compactor. I'm kind of killing them right now, John, so... Your threats can't work on me, bucko. Well, then you don't have to do this if you give me the compactor. Well, you see, I do, because compactor is, like, my dream. John, did you spend... Two hours grinding fucking redstone. No. So tell me why. Or only this punk. Tell me why you thinking you can come into my house and expect me to give you my super compactor four thousand. <sighs> Bucko. There's no compactor four thousand. You seem very full of yourself, buddy boy. And I don't like people who are full of themselves, you see. People are full of themselves. Get misplaced if you catch my drift. So why don't you go scurry off back into your... Abs your hellhole that you came from. And let me live in peace as the um, clown, the joker I am. Rawr. I want to be dumb. Bro, <clears throat> they should make it where you can do that one thing I said. You remember that one thing I said? When is the sex mod? Bro, did, I, did you see that TikTok I sent you with the Minecraft sex mod update? Yes. Bro, that was rather humorous, I would have to say. 
Yes, very humorous. John, you didn't see it, did you? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I have your notifications silenced because I don't want to hear. Like, uh, I'll be no, in the middle no, of class no. and I'll be getting ding, ding, ding. And, like, my phone will be buzzing because I keep getting TikTok sent to me. Yeah. I mean, it's just living the life. And so I just don't watch all the TV during the day. Just go through all the TikToks I've sent you, John. They're all bangers, bro. They're all bangers. This is not a, this is not a banger. And I'm no bangers. I'm no bangers. So good. Dude, this is so stupid, bro. They're like... The only one, only good one was like the Garfield Chew ones or whatever. Not, bro. I, I love, I love the Garfield like TikTok accounts, bro. Those are some actually kind of funny sometimes. Garfield and like fucking, I don't even know. That's the only Garfield's the only franchise that you can do that one with, you know. Like, this is not a banger, and I know bangers. I know bangers. Like, name one other franchise you could do that with that is actually funny. Exactly, you can, John. Because you can't do anything. You're flaccid. Coco Cabana. Let me sell, let me sell, 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 sell. Coco Cabana. John loves men. It's okay, John. You can let it go. Annie, are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? You've been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth criminal. <laughs> you are my fire. The one desire believe when I said I want you that way. Tell me why I wanna be here. No, want want. Tell me why. I don't wanna Tell me why I don't wanna hear you say Ricky Tata Tata. I want to kill a rat ta 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 ta. Pull around the corner with my cat ta 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 ta. Then eat all my food. I'm getting fat. Ta 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 ta. Think about that. Have you ever that thought? Is a banger. And I know bangers. I know bangers. I know bangers. Okay. Can you hear me click? Can you click? No. Bro. Can you not hear that? No. Appreciate <laughs> sure Chris on a Discord, don't you? Oh yeah, I do. I forgot about that. Okay, bro. There's so many people in Young Dragon. I'm just running around. 
so annoying. You love young kids? No, but these people are so annoying. Okay, you love young kids. You admitted it. John, the first step is admitting. John, where were you? Are you on Jeffrey Epstein's island? No way, I got a crystal fragment. Like, uh, dude, this guy no. is so such a bitch, but Zulia is <gasps> out here in the fucking, I don't even know what it's called. John! Final Destination Armor with a glacial scythe shooting zealots in the normal area. Like, go to the more, go to the better areas, like, gives better chances. Like, why the hell are you here with a damn glacial site? John, it's you said bad word. What? And the bad word. Bad word not permitted. Oh, no. You have been exterminated. Oh, damn. Extermination process proceeding. Wah, wah. Roblox Piggy. Believe when I say I want it that way. Tell me a lie. I don't want everything you say. I want it that way. Tell me why. Fuck me, dude. Fuck me. Now. It doesn't matter if it's rectally. It doesn't matter if it's all you please. I'll let you enter my. What's what's this one? I want one. Coco Cabana. He was a showgirl. No way, special sell it. What's collection at? Bro, I don't know. Bro, I you know. should. Okay, I'm checking which one. Hot pocket. 18k. Out of 25k. Hot. Yo, I'll need one more and then we can do a dragon. Cool beans. Let me hop down. No, no, no. Dude, the eyes aren't, like, they're hard to get. I know. But just say, oh, I have... All those eyes, and one person probably has an eye, and then you can summon the guy, because you have all the eyes. You understand? Coco Cabana. I was a yoga. Pop it up, mom. Light it up, up, up. Light it up, up, up. Light it up. Um. John, I'll say, Keith, I love you. 
You are my boo and I love you too. I love you in the morning and day. Cause I am yours forever, poo. I love you, I love you. Will you always love me too? I want to crawl up behind you I want to go in you I want to be with you I want to be in you I want to What? Huh? What are you talking about? John, I want to be in you Think about it Think about the implications on the writer's work, John. John, I've not gotten a single chat message. How do you feel? You haven't gotten a what? A chat message. What do you mean? A message in chat. In chat, if you will. W's in the chat, John. Oh, you mean stream chat? I was so confused. I thought you were talking about the game. John. L. Her name is Lola. She was a sugar. We Do you love men? I know what I do. With that was 30 years ago when I used to have no hose. <laughs> now there is hose, but not for me. Still liking men like I used to, and so on. Yeah, we can get a hurricane bow. Is that good? Decent. It's good for bow. Because it shoots five arrows. What what is battle pet? What's like the effects? Battle pet's really good. It's like one of the best mining pets. Um, it lets it just like <laughs> gives you a bunch of mining boosts. I don't really know exactly what they are, but like one of them is whenever you're in the magma fields, it boosts your like bot your mining by a percentage. So it's pretty good. I think it's like thirty percent. Bow pet. It's really good. Legendary. Okay, so it has to be legendary. What do you mean it has to be legendary? Well, it doesn't do anything for mining. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Dude, okay, look at the stats. It says boosts all stats by 15%. Oh. Which just includes mining, and it makes you invincible to heat. Yeah. And that that's Legend. so you know that's limited to, that's limited to legendary. It has to be a legendary. It can't be epic. No. Yeah. I'm I'm looking at the I'm looking at it right now. I am as well, Blevins. It it the epic but doesn't the give epic. you. Oh wait, never mind. The epic doesn't give you the um. Yeah. The thing. So but you're gonna need to get a hundred yogis. So. No, you don't have to upgrade it, Blevins. You. You literally just kill the boss over and over until you get it. Well, yeah. And sell the rest. But you also get Yagis from the boss. Um, you don't want to waste Yagis. Zink, so you can get Yag armor. I'm going to Yag on you. Now. Tell me when you get a dude. You know the dude. Bebe the Brag. You know the dude. Bebe the Brag. There's a Pepe the Frog cape. Is he on Bad Lion? Yeah. Is he though? Ziggy Paddy. Paddy. John, level 381 is nothing. Right. Level what? 381. Yeah. Damn. That's nothing. 
His name is I have an addiction. Huh? What was that? Are you killing the, the zealots as well? Uh, I'm in the zealot area. I am kind of I dancing around in the middle of end portal though. Mm -hmm. oh, well, that should have killed you. There we go. GG, Jiggy Powdy. Okay, Adam Split can die. What does that mean? It's really expensive to make. And he's angry about it. The level 381 is proud of SB pigs. Yep. How do you feel about that? Are you proud of SB pigs? No, you're not. You know why? Because you don't have the fucking mindset. You gotta get in the mindset, okay? You gotta work hard, play hard, train hard, and die hard, okay? It's a Christmas movie. Shut the frick up. What level are you? Oh, you're 35. <laughs> L. As you level up, do you unlock new, like, accessory bag, like, uh, like, capabilities? Like, how do you unlock... Accessory bag. How do you unlock more, like, like, you know what I'm talking about. Wait, no, I have no idea. Yes, you do! I don't. You know the accessory bag things. Magic power. Oh, oh uh, I know what you're talking about. Magic power. Oh, uh, um. Yeah. Uh, so. Is it only power stuff? Yeah, I, think, I think it's based off how much magic power you have. Or something. Okay, and then you can unlock more, right? As you get more magic power? Unlock. Yeah. Okay. And then also magic stones or whatever, but we don't talk about those. Isn't that right? Blood has PV SB underscore Gilbigs. Go to back back. No ender just three. I got prehistoric egg, prehistoric egg, enderman, blue jelly talisman, visual residue, gemstone mixer, two, 
Treasure Talisman, Young Dragon Fragment 11, 16 Felpal, Holy Dragon Fragment 12, Blaze Paddle 64, Unstable Dragon Fragment 6, and Leafskin. Opinion? Okay, that's great. I love men just like you. I know I, I do. Open the door. I will come out this morning. Just kidding, John. I'm not. I'm not coming out. I want to stay in there and f- pout. You know. What do Infernos drop? What do you mean Infernos? Oh, uh, never mind. It's the thing sucking. I'm so silly. I'm such a silly goose. I was gonna say, there's nothing named in front of this you should be killing. I'm so silly, John. You're right. I'm such a silly girl, aren't I? Am I being naughty, John? Do you have to punish me? What's Fenslayer? What? Sven Slayer. Oh, it's Wolf Slayer. John, no, it's not. Is Sven was Sven Dantidium's dog? No. What was Dantidium? No, it was Graham. I'm fucking stupid. I'm f- stupid, 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 stupid. Nadi nadi, nadi nadi, nadi nadi nadi. Ding a 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 it's fine to admit it, just kidding, cause I don't, and it really is very weird. Just kidding, it's not. I'm not transphobic. Or homophobic. Or... A bigot. I'm not a bigot, right John? You've met me, I'm not a bigot. I respect all L, G's, B's, T's, and Q's. And pluses. God damn it, bro. How many have I killed? I've killed 1,350 zealots. And got Get a life, loser. Three eyes. Levens, what's the... What's the like, a thousand, wait, how many? How many? 1,350. 350? Let me check. That is the... So, 450. 450 every eye. It's 450 every eye. Oh, wait, hold on. I got the special zealot. Let's go. I have all four now. Okay, 450 per eye. Well, so now four. So how many do you have now? How many in total? Dude, literally, like, basically the exact same. I killed, like, five more guys. Okay. So four... Wait, no. One... You said it was one... Six... Five? Zero more. When it was, it was one hundred thirty, one thousand three hundred fifty-five. Okay, so divide by four would be six hundred seventy-five point two. I think. Wait, no, seventy-seven point five.
mm, yeah, 677.5 divided by 2, 338 point, wait, no, I don't know, might be 41.5, I don't know, 341.5. No, it's not. I'm stupid, but it's fine. Isn't that right, Kanasa? Come down here. Come down here. People are placing eyes. I know. I'm going to come in you. I'm here. I've been here. I've been here. Make sure you have a bow, Blood. You need to do damage to I don't get have the the arrows. stuff. Can you give me arrows, John? I did, wait, how many arrows do I have? Uh, come up here. I have 16 arrows. Come up here. I'm There's coming. I'm stuff. coming. Whenever the dragon spawns, there's the guy that sells them. Oh, okay. So, I'm not making it there. I'm not... They're probably going to place it soon. So, it's fine. I have, like, 16. Blevins, let come stand here. Where? It's literally... Okay, Blevins. You see where I am? Literally, come up here. <laughs> and he's going to spawn right over here. Have you ever Blevins, noted not. in your ass? He's spawn right over here. I've nodded in an ass. Have I though? No, I haven't. I will not in yours though. Please, 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 please. Hello? I would like you to place the Eye of Ember. If you do not place the Eye of Ember, I will steal all of your Fortnite V-Bucks. Okay. Thank you for placing the Eye of Ember. Hey, you do not blaze the eye. Blaze the eye of Ender into the portal. Please. You will have your V-Box revoked if you do not. You are a very silly man, you see. Do not play with me. I am a very powerful man, you see. John, what's your opinion on Nolan? Wasn't Nolan a little silly Billy? Nolan was a tad bit of goofball, tad bit of a poofball, and tad bit of a cotton ball. And a little bit of a, um, I don't know. Oh, we're missing one. I know. I I know this. I know this, John. I know this. I know this. Wow. <laughs> and this dude's fucking me. schizophrenic. No, 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 I'm stupid. Please, please. I love schizophrenia. Schizophrenia is so cool, right? Right, 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 Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones, bro. Schizophrenia is so cool. I love schizophrenia, John. That's great. Like, imagine being schizophrenic, you know? Nips are cool. Right. Like, look, I'm just saying, I would love to have some extra pals, you know. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you just love having, like, an extra couple pals? You're the one for me. The pro dealer does not give arrows. What are you talking about? No, I didn't say the pearl dealer. I said the guy that was going to spawn here. Oh, yeah, but you said you could get arrows. So, like, you know.
Andrew, Andrew, get down here quickly. Oh, you're here. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, yeah, the method is pre fire. So as the drag's opening, shoot. Well, I don't have any arrows. I don't have any arrows, mister. I don't have any arrows. And then, and then while this I is. I have going, 10 arrows left. I have 10 arrows left. Okay, okay. Here, Andrew. Andrew, come up here, God damn it. Okay, I have 10 hours left. So like, yeah. I'm up here, I'm up here. Where is up here? Where is up here? B I died, I died. John, I died. Don't use that. Use my testicles. Use my testicles, boy. Andrew, stop. Use my testicles. Did you get a hit? Yes, I did. I did get a hit. I did get a hit. Okay, that's all that matters. Don't, I love Andrew, hitting them the all. Okay, Andrew, you sound like a I know that's basically the point, but like... Hello! You still sound like a football. Pray, pray for Dragon Pet. What's this? What's Overflux? Where did he die at? Boy, there he is. Okay. That's a beacon. I love men. You love men. Let's be honest. John Key. God damn it, bro. Strong dragon fragment. Stiff up a lip. Strong fella. When you're in a it's stew. Not bad. But like, it's not what I was hoping for. Bro, this the fucking musical, right, bro? There's this one call for a song called Stiff Upper Lip, boy. And it's like you put... It's like a British thing. So it's like... There's like a British accent or something. I don't know. Like, if we, we listen to the people singing it, right? In the fucking, like, rehearsal video or whatever. Not rehearsal. Fucking, like, thing, right? And then they're like... Stiff Upper Lip! Stop, fella! <laughs> like... And the, it's, like, so wacky. Because the only... There's, there's only, like... It takes place in New York, in fucking, like, middle of nowhere, Nevada. So, it's a fucking country accent, and then, like, not even a New York accent. Maybe a New York... There's a Hungarian accent in there. That's 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 one. But, I mean... Or, whatever. I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. So, I just had to put in a country accent. It's our history. I'm just slow talking you. Like I do to them. I just pull up right beside them and I just say, hey there, ladies. Are you kidding me, bro? I can't even. Hey there. God damn it. Okay, time to play some dungeons. John, we're literally like 4,000 away for collections. Blevins, I need to play dungeons. John, you do not. You actually are really close, John. And I feel bad. You're giving up on your dreams. You can do anything, John. Not my dream. John, I will cream for you. No way. If you oh, just Let me please. just do a little bit of dungeon. Okay. John, why don't you go kill yourself? You know why you don't? Because it's not good. Now, John, riddle me this. Why? Would you give up on your dreams, your everything, just so you could do dungeons? Yes. You said you were going to be different, bucko. You're just the same. Wop wop. I should never have gone back. Ugh. Don't talk to me. Should I get adaptive? <laughs> Should I get adaptive armor, yes or no? Sure. No, like... 
Do you think I should? Because, I mean, it gives less health and defense than... Damn, actually, it's kind of dumb. Why would you get it, then? It's... No, no, the, the armor, it's actually kind of ass. So, why would you get it, then? Adaptive. I don't know. I was just thinking about it, because, like, <laughs> it, it, I'm just looking at it, and it really is just some absolute butt cheeks. Just like you? Thanks, Puffins. Are you an average booty cheek enjoyer? Well, do I have the thing for yep. you? Wow, really, Blevins? You have just the thing for me? For average ass eaters like me, I've invented a new proprietary thing oh my God, I'm getting... that can oh, help God. you eat your ass in peace. Everybody gets, whenever they're eating ass, gets those little turd nuggets every time to time. And you don't want that, right? That's why we at asseating.com who have says that I don't want those ovens? Been able to make Why don't a you let me speak for my tongue? thing for your tongue. Why you that can put in words in my mouth? Change the shit into a nice candy flavored candy. It is candy. That's what it really tastes like. You see, John, with this proprietary technology, we can coach your tongue in little bugs that are able to tr eat the shit and turn it to candy. How do you feel? Where's Shaggy? I want to talk to Shaggy. Um, uh, who even is Shaggy? Is Shaggy in here? Is Shaggy in the house on top? In oh yeah, he is. Is Shaggy a top or bottom, do you think? Wait, actually, I don't know. I don't know, that's him, it's never mind. Is Shaggy a top or a bottom? Which one? Definitely a bottom. What about Scooby? <laughs> top. <laughs> top. <laughs> Bro. No, oh, uh, I got butt fucked. This is great. By Scooby? Yep. Oh, uh, that's illegal. Says who? Uh, 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 says good old Mitch McConnell. Well, he says a lot of things. Do you know who Mitch McConnell is, John? Yes. Name one thing Mitch McConnell has done. Did what? Name one thing about Mitch McConnell. He's pretty goofy. I, I, I know who he is. He's like a politician or something. Like, I don't keep up on the lore like that. John is not. I'm a few seasons back. Is there a way to get him a metal detector? Do I have to talk to Jerry the janitor? Or to get a metal detector? Yep. Or what? For finding relics in Spider's Den. That's not how it works. No, there's no metal detector. What's the, but, but the archaeologist gives you, like, the thing. He gives you a compass. Can I ask him for it again? Yeah. Does he give it to you again? Yeah. Hmm. I think so. If I were to maybe accidentally of shove my finger directly into his wreck... Um, would he give me it still? I don't know. John, my birthday's in. A, is it tomorrow? My birthday's tomorrow. Let's go. And you don't even have to go to school. How exciting! I know. Then I have mathnasium tomorrow. Yippee! Because mathnasium is fun. Math can be fun too, John. I literally spend I spend two hours at mathnasium, John. That's great. 
I know. Sounds so fun. It is, because then I get um cards, bro. How it's set up is you get a, like get punches per pages, right? And then you can do like these um, like you do mastery checks, right? And then you can spin the wheel, right? And then that's right. Sounds like gambling. <laughs> I mean, we don't endorse gambling. Yeah, but here, technically we, no, because you don't you don't put anything on the line, right? There's no risk, right? No risk, no reward. Actually, better is. Levins, I think I'm gonna hop off. Levins, I think I'm gonna hop off. Alright. Christine Chandler. Please try and get the collection. I'm probably gonna hop off Hypixel 2, so. Alright, it's fine. We can get it tomorrow. Alright, D. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. I know, I know, goodbye. I know. I am very pretty and very handsome. Very dashing, very dashing. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. You don't have to, you don't have to keep on hashing it over. I know how beautiful and sexy I am. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, John. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am a schizophrenic. And you just got schizoed. Wah, wah. Oh, he left. Wah, 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 wah. Bye bye. Alrighty, boys. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do here? Wah, no. Let's see. Wah, wah, wah. Let's, let's react. Let's react to some content, shall we? Young Sheldon? Oh, yeah, that's right. It's not shared. Uh -uh. Let me pull up YouTube, 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 YouTube. Nadi, 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 nadi. Nadi, nadi. YouTube, dad, the gun. Yo, new shark in the wood, even like song. Power, huge power world with, with drama. Like, bro, I do not give a shit about fucking power world. I don't get why people care. People like, power world is in a huge drama. Like, it's not. It, it might be, but it doesn't fucking matter. If I gave a shit, I would ask. Guess what? I didn't do. Got you there. Playlists. Chris Chan. Cro Let's flush some Chris Chan. Okay, Chris Chan. Where are you going to share my screen? Screen, screen capture. YouTube video. We are going to full screen. Okay, that works. Let's go. Let's go. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let's watch some Christian. Alright. Let's restart this video, I guess. I watched the first two episodes because, yeah. This was just, that was the background. Bye. Da, da, da. I should probably change the channel. The story of Christian. The story of Christian. Christine Chan. 
let's capitalize that because I'm fucking illiterate. I'm stupid. Christine Chandler. Okay. Christian. Yeah, thank you. Hi. What is the attraction? He assassinated. Da, bam, da, bam, da. Wait, let's look in the background. Oh, what do we got here? Is that Darth? I can't tell. Maybe Darth Vader. There's a sunflower. That might be a Galaga, actually, right there. On oh, My Little Pony, I think. Possibly. That's a battle axe. I don't want to know what he did with that. It is very long. Um, Sonic. Hmm. Okay. Christian. Comprehensive history. Part three. All right. Christian Janwa. I, I don't get why he always starts off with the boyfriend free girl part. He always starts off with like. I've been trying to find a boyfriendless. Boyfriend. Less girl. Like just say girl with no boyfriend or something. It sounds. Oh no. Because I believe he's very Christian. So it probably wouldn't go over that very what much well. I know that recently he does. I don't know. I don't honestly don't know about more recently, but I I have like a bit of insight. Like boyfriend, free girl. Like you don't. Uh, I'm not getting a girl my age. I want for Chris and. Here's only you. Oh, well, okay. Always, I hope Santa will c comply with my request and bring me a pretty girlfriend. This is sad. Like, this is very, like, a very sad story. Oh, no. So, if you don't know, his dad was a very, he seemed like his dad was a very good person, like a very nice person, caring. His mom, I don't know about. I know about modern day stuff. But Fuck. And me. Hmm. I feel bad for these cats. Jesus Christ. That table is fucking covered. Oh. Was this for Sarah or like, wait, what? His father was very old, though. I didn't notice that. His dad was like 56 when he was born. <laughs> yeah.
Love quest, let's go. I could not imagine raising a kid like Christian, honestly. I feel bad. Our parents are like... His parents, I mean... Well, right, yeah. Well, then, his parents were like... Like... Well, his... It was a massive age gap. Not massive, but like... 10, 20... T like, 10, 12 age year gap. Which is, like... I don't know, back then, I get, but... Because his parents met after a divorce so it's I don't know so What did he even do? I didn't like. What? What does he mean a brace? Like, I saw that. He bumped her like shoulder. Like I know Chris Chan isn't hurting you when you bumps his shoulder. That's cool. It looks like Uncanny Valley, Jesus Christ. He always starts out with boyfriend, and it's so funny. It's like, like I don't know. Red Robin, yum. A boyfriend for you, girl. A woman? Oh no. He doesn't get a woman false alarm.
You look to be right 19 years old, right? Hi, Chris. Let's go. Now let's phone number. Oh man, bro, bro. Doesn't he care about, isn't the reason that they did this is because copyright and he wanted to do one thing and then whatever. Yo, the man himself. W is W is. Oh, they kiss. Oh my god. I hate, I hate, hate pickles. Bumper stickers. Alright, come play with me the game place. Plan 9, US flying. I don't know, oh, that's weird. Autism work for a cure. I don't know if there's a cure to autism, but okay. Because autism is kind of. And I hate not. I mean, not. Well, I don't know if it can be inherited, but it's birth. Kind of, you know. I mean, 
Let's go. Transformers crossover. Y'all. Bro, Dogman got nothing on this. Captain Underpants? No, bro. Bro. Look, I'm just saying. Put all these into a fucking book. Making it to, like, like the holy book of his religion. I know he's, like, his own Christian, like, whatever. Like, sect he's created. <gasps> Let's go. Heart around a hundred percent. I bet. <gasps> Let's go. Look, it's harder to fake an email address than it is to fake a number. That's one thing. Especially back then in the 2000s. <gasps> what the fuck, boy? Fifteen percent intact. Yo. Nice. Let's go. Yo. Black Chew is crazy. <laughs> Black Chew. What about Christian's Sana Chew? Why is this in fucking Nintendo Power? I'm 22 years old. I tried to just finally attract a boyfriend free girl. What are signs? What do you think signs are? You think he just like winked at her or something? Or do you think he put a sign around his neck and said, I, I want to get in your pants. And then with a picture of Sana Chu right next to it. Wah, wah. I mean, that doesn't sound like a Nintendo Power article. Different. Yeah. God. Plato, Faulkner, God. Kleist swirl. Kleist, I mean. I'm stupid. I'm very stupid. I think I don't get where you find this shit. Like, like I get that you can find it, but it's more like the fact that you're able to find it, this specific articles, and link them to the scenarios. Like somebody probably read it at least. Like a couple of people probably read it, but I don't know about whatever you know. Huh? 
<gasps> Yu Gi Look, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, right? Look. Oh shit. No. Her name is Lola. Mm -hmm. <sighs> <sighs> mm -hmm. And turn. What the fuck? Where is it? It's this one. Final page is a call to action for all Sonichu fans, in which Chris expresses his wish to have Sonichu produced into a bona fide franchise by Nintendo America. Let's go. The comic concludes with sub episode three, which is a dramatic reimagining of Chris's conflict Look, with Mary Lee Walsh, if who Nintendo is the head of the private villa of corrupted citizens, Nintendo doesn't the base of operations the for the IP. villains in the Sonichu universe. The name of which is derived doing? from the acronym of Piedmont Virginia Community College. <gasps> With Sonichu issue 2, Christian comes closer to blurring the line between real life and his comic book world, creating his own reality. In Sonichu's news dash issue 9, Chris announced that he will attend the Anime Mid-Atlantic Convention in Richmond, Virginia on all three days. Since he has put himself into Sonichu's world, he will cosplay as himself. Talk about self-respect, huh? Also, he will be watching some of the good anime getting some souvenirs, participating in some of the events, and just nice. having a good time. Let's go. Also, he will have some printed copies of Sonichu Premiere Issue 0 on hand, but if you want a collectible copy, you will have to find him and ask for one. He stayed two nights alone in a hotel room, and during the convention, he handed out copies of Sonichu Issue 0 to unsuspecting attendees. On June 22nd, Christian recounted the events of the past two days. I had my setup at the McDonald's at Walmart, and apparently complaints were made. The two mana jerks, or manager jerks, a Sainor comic, and a black fat jerk. He looked a lot like the leader of the jerk cops at the mall, whom I refer to now as the jerk keef, approached me and took me for a fall with my trying to find a boyfriend free girl, like I have been doing for the past over one year and ten months. We argued and disputed, until the two of them left to call the police. While they were gone, Maybe I had taken off the sign from my Nintendo DS and hidden it on the back cover of my diary. 
when the jerk cops came, they were all like, what seems to be the problem? And the married Sanor comic was like, where's the sign? And I was, what sign? And another argument was had between the four of us, in which I never gave any of those jerks eye contact, because none of them deserved it. So, I got kicked out from the McDonald's, not the Walmart, for the rest of the day. Now for what happened today, I was starting to set up my things, and the B mana jerk was getting in my face. I feel that he really hates me. And he was like, don't set up your stuff, don't push me. I was not going to use the Nintendo DS sign today anyway, but he did not want my pixel block sculptures at all. I stood up against that mana jerk. I continued to build, and I dictated my situation into his face with a song and dance. He went up to the Walmart mana jerk, and he was like, hey, let's talk. But I sat silent for a minute, then I said to him, I do not speak to any man other than myself, because they all have taken all the pretty girls, leaving me with none. Verbal combat had started, and during the fight, I ran off, still giving verbal punishment, as well as the finger, and many cursier hamehas. I nearly backed up onto him with my car, and I gave him another finger, then I dashed off. Now. I feel sad because I have nowhere off. else Jesus to go Christ. to attract a boyfriend I almost hit him with my car and then and I, I dashed off. I <laughs> with those mana <laughs> and all men other than he myself just, like, and what? my father. Chris began believing that there was a conspiracy involving all the men in his town. They all are against me in finding a girlfriend of my own. Huh? But I will not give up on my long and Tado's love quest. I'll find a new attraction spot somewhere in Charlottesville, Virginia. Virginia. There has to be at least one 18 to 23 year old boyfriend free, caring, smoke free, non-alcoholic white girl out there somewhere. <laughs> Chris like traumatized this like entire ordeal in sub episodes 4 and 5, but his adaptation also featured the manifestation of his dream sibling, like, Crystal, his twin sister. Mm, gonna fuck her a too? mere month later, he caused more trouble. But this time at if you Target, don't know, he where he sat mom. waiting to encounter a boyfriend-free girl on, for hours, still. taking gross advantage of the free refills at his disposal. I was at the new Target store, just hanging around, not bothering anyone. And, from out of the blue, these two managers asked me to leave because they said I was loitering. I was not. I was there hoping to find an 18 to 23 year old boyfriend-free girl, like I usually do. Then, from out of the blue, after I told them off, they came back with two jerk cops. After I told them I was off, slightly what? intimidated, but mostly annoyed and ready to strike back on them. Jerk they asked off, me bro. to leave and never return. I did not want to leave. I would have left peacefully. Bro, In fact, cops, I was ready to go. But I had a prepared speech to say to them stupid jerk cops. Mm -hmm. And during the middle of my speech, they chased me, pulled my pants, and pinned me to the floor. Five jerk cops dogpiled on me Wait. as I struggled to get free. A thousand pounds of sausages on my 180 pound body was seriously a cutoff for my breathing flow. They handcuffed my wrists and legs, and they hogtied me. Not only did I feel humiliated from being the victim, but I was angry at them, not only for handcuffing me, but once again thwarting my efforts in trying to find a boyfriend free girl. They drove me to the county jail, but fortunately, they did not keep me there. I was released to my family. Chris was charged with so, trespassing and disorderly conduct. I mean, it was terrible, but my mother and I are going to get back at them in court. In fact, I learned that the jerk cop who arrested me was called Baggett. That was the only thing about the situation that was hilarious. Replace the B with an F, and you can see how funny it was. <laughs> However, <laughs> after attending two joke, court hearings, Chris, the charges were dropped. Funny. See. This event was recreated in Sonic 2 sub episodes 7 and 8. Oh. But in Chris's reality, he endured much greater torment and came out victorious in the end. Less than a week later, Chris had another run in with the law. Christian this w. time, a minor fender bender when he rear ended the car He's in front of him. He was fined $30 and also paid $56 in court costs. In August, Christian returned to PBCC after the end of his one-year suspension. It was around this time that Anna announced that she was moving to Utah. Her announcement also somewhat coincided with her 20th birthday, so Christian and her friends organized a birthday-slash-farewell party for her, with Chris claiming that he picked out and bought the cake himself. Throughout August and September, Chris engaged in back-and-forth conversations via MySpace with two female students, Jelena and Lindsay. 
but despite all his efforts to meet with them, it ultimately came to nothing. In September, Chris finished Sonichu issue 4, which was merely a compilation of sub-episodes 1 through 8. Was he, he thrown claimed on that the his ground? mother didn't Why want him making like any more stories concerning his, his own face. life, so he obeyed and stopped making sub-episodes. In October, a user on a Sega forum began a discussion thread about Sonichu, in which members discussed the comic and Christian's personal antics. This was the earliest documented online discussion concerning Christian, but the original Sega forum hosting site has since been shut down and there is no known archive of the discussion chain. In November, Shoujo Beat, a manga anthology magazine published Chris's letter which vaguely concerned the manga Absolute Boyfriend. Riko Izawa in Absolute Boyfriend sort of has the same problem I do. She can't get a guy and I can't get a girl. Here's my sitch. All the pretty girls are already paired up with some jerk, leaving me with none to choose from. Also, nobody can tell off They've the all been picked. a paired up from a boyfriend free oh, girl. No. At first, it's equally hard for Rico to find a girlfriend free boy, but then she is granted this wish where she gets a girlfriend free boy, although he is a robot, delivered to her doorstep. <laughs> Lucky girl, I'm 23 years old. Although she is One he is a robot. I've gotten a girlfriend he's, by now. He's an inanimate no, object. <laughs> I'm stuck in the situation where if my parents should pass away, I will be a very lonely virgin. <laughs> Some months later, a fellow reader sent in a Not reply to Chris. Dead corpse. Why is he only looking for pretty Which girls? You did. There are plenty of girls who are not supermodel gorgeous whom he could date. Mm -hmm. It's not the outside of the package that counts, but the inside. Yeah. A girl can be pretty on the outside, but might be mean or self-centered or have other problems. Yeah. Whereas another girl could be plain or even ugly Facts, on the outside. Bro. Chris gets it. a beautiful, kind, intelligent person on the inside. If more guys would think about what qualities they look for in a girl, and make sure those qualities don't just focus on her outer appearance, they might just find a girl to go out Bro, with. Chris -based Otherwise, moments. many girls will think, why bother, he'll just leave me for the next pretty girl he sees. Megan agreed with her sentiment. Bro, let's go. Chris's advances Rare towards Chris Megan intensified, as is documented in their emails. She declined giving out her phone number, and later in the same email, also declined his invitation to go out to a restaurant. Email. In so an email from me. December, she stated that she did not appreciate Christian like, trying to kiss I get her, and admitted that she's not that interested in a relationship, they but insisted they can remain as friends. Think that's how they did. Like, she also confessed to accidentally people, discovering really. that he bought Megan a Nintendo DS, even though she had recently just Most gotten likely. one herself. Through Megan, really had an email. Chris was introduced to My Little he, Pony he, and Sailor Moon, with Megan providing him with some of her own fan art. He gave them their number. He I'm also sure. began making his own custom My Little Pony yeah, figures, outside, no, including man. one that he made using his own hair. As an adult Bro, male fanatic like, of My Little Pony, European he preceded the so-called brony the culture, these. which would only begin to blossom make, like, around five years later. And shit out of fucking Megan also requested him to bid on a collection hair, of World War II photos on eBay of which Chris was the winning bidder. In 2006, oh no. Christian's online spending habits intensified, with Chris purchasing My Little Pony and he Sailor bought, Moon oh, figures, sure. pornography, uh, he and sex all toys, among other things. Sonic! In February of 2006, Rule Christian 34? finished drawing Sonic Shoe Issue 3, which took seven months to complete. The comic begins with the origin stories of each member of the chaotic combo whose eggs were created in and ejected from the rainbow as seen in episode 1. Like Seema? The green egg lands in the jungle. The electric hedgehog Pokemon that came out of it grows up to become Wild Sonichu. The blue egg lands Why is in the ocean green? and is rescued by the Pokemon Swampert, which takes it to the beach just in time for it to hatch and become Bubbles Rose Chew. Bubbles the white egg lands in front of a church, and out of it hatches Angelica Rosechu, who is raised by nuns. <laughs> Misty finally, after she evolves into her final yeah. form, Yo! Light, Christian is I'm outside just saying. her window, bringing her a scrunchie and a pair of shoes as a gift. The Look. red egg crashes into <laughs> Nabe's dojo shin and hatches. For some reason, Nabe is compelled to rip off the Sonny's tail, causing him to instantly evolve into Punchy Sonichu. The purple Punchy egg hatches Sonichu? in a cave. And the purple Sonny starts to telepathically communicate with the Pokemon Mewtwo, who decides to mentor it. For what? months, 
This mysterious mentor taught the Sani how to hone his pores, lift objects mentally and physically, and what the outside world was like. Until one day, during meditation, the Sani suddenly evolves into Magic Chan Sonichu. He then farts. The episode ends with a final bulletin which would have been more suitable for a televisual feast rather than a comic book. Stay tuned for when these hedgehogs meet. In the next episode, Blachu steals a master sunstone and through a comedy of errors, is met with four of the chaotic combo. Eventually, the five member troop teams up with Sonichu and they take down Blachu, leaving him in a bloody mess, accompanied by a tweet tweet sound effect, commonplace in cartoons. The comic closes with a fake ad for a call service that would send one of the two single men in the world a beautiful girlfriend or a monkey. In May 2006, Christian attained a CAD degree after five years of study, even though it should have only taken two. For the graduation ceremony, he decided to wear the robe from his high school graduation instead. Now that Christian received this qualification, this made him what? more likely to get a job and advance his life towards building up a career <laughs> the doing Fidugu what he liked, kind of card, and though, possibly no, even lie. realizing his wish for the Sonichu franchise to become a dignified reality, making his dream dignified come true. Reality is crazy. Ba, da, da. Okay. Let's see. Disclaimer, part four. Okay. What made him this way? What made him this way? What is the attraction? What is the attraction? What keeps us fascinated? What keeps us fascinated? This is the story. Of Chris Chan. All right. Bum bum, bana bana bum bum dum bum, banda mana man dum bum dum. With Sonichu issue 5, the story strays further and further away from the Sonichu storyline and makes Christian the main character, with the plot of the comic closely mirroring his own life. The comic begins with Sarah's wedding, with Chris attending in spirit, possibly alluding that he didn't attend her actual wedding. The episode also introduces two new characters, Megajula Skunk, based on a character created <laughs> by Megan, and Sailor McToon indisputably symbolizing Megan herself. He briefly fights off Wes Eisley, and at the end of the episode, <gasps> Sarah thanks him for all the childhood years they spent together, and wishes him good luck on his advances towards Megan. Sarah throws her bouquet at him, and he catches it, believing this meant his own wedding would come shortly. Christian uses his comic to depict his inner monologue and fantasies to the world. I love Megan, yet she's not ready to return or seek it. I'd feel better if I could chat with her on the phone, although she's uncomfortable doing that. Our email communications are okay, but Our speech speaks louder than typed words. Okay. Like, the artwork also changes to an unmistakably anime and manga style, perhaps in an effort to appeal to Megan even more. In the following episode, Christian has a lengthy discussion with Sonichu about his optimistic hope that he and Megan will get together, despite him admitting a few pages ago that she was not responsive to his advances. He acknowledges that he is so optimistic that he even stopped using his attraction sign. <gasps> They're interrupted by the announcement that Mary Lee Walsh and the Jerk Cops are invading Quickville, so Chris teams no. up with Megan, Crystal, and the Chaotic Combo. During the climax, <laughs> Why Crystal gets trapped in the dark bro? mirror, and Christian comforts a tearful bro. Megan who thought that she had lost Chris for good. No. His obsession Why with Megan so has made Crystal clear, <laughs> like, and is further like confirmed by the emails now. she sent to him. I know you know that I hate guys and I hate love, because I, I told you a million times. Love. So why do you keep getting too close and touching me? Don't get too close. I really don't like it at all. I'm dangerous. I know you said because you have feelings for me and it's hard for you. Feelings. But I'm sorry, this sounds mean. You really need to try and get over it. If you keep hanging on like that to someone who doesn't love you back, well, it'll only make you more miserable. No, you I love you. You need to just accept the fact that I don't and will probably never love you. Is she gonna so have you like should a just take a rejuvenating breath and, and move on. Deny it and Advice say, to no. which Chris refused to listen, yeah. as is evident in an email written just a month later. 
I'm so just a little mad that I have to keep telling you to please stop touching me. It's like you're not wanting to listen to me. I tell you, then you say okay, but eventually you're back to the same tricks, and this time I really same mean it. Tricks, if you will. Even my other friends don't like it and think it's weird. So once and for all, could you please stop? You know I don't like it, so why do you keep doing it? It's not like you're gonna try and soften me or something. So, He's I don't wanna have to tell you again, you. or I might get really angry. Cause you know, unwanted remarks or advances to a girl is sexual harassment, and I don't take mm -hmm. that lightly. Chris's not so subtle attempts at getting her attention did not go unnoticed. I don't think Chris expected that. Sometimes I get the feeling that you copy me to get me to like you. Like Sailor Moon, for example. The only Sailor Moon thing he had was that adult video. And since I told you how much I love it, then you start getting into it. Kinda like My Little Pony. That kind of thing really annoys me. I don't like it These much when people get into something right after they find out I liked it first. <laughs> when you said we had a lot in common, like Sailor Moon and My Little Pony, well, who loved Sailor Moon first? Who collected My Little Pony first? Okay, I know I sound like a spoiled brat, <laughs> but can you see what I'm trying to say? I don't like being too Sailor in common Moon with others. I try to be as different from others form. as possible. Hmm. I did. On June 27th, 2006, okay. Patty Chandler you were was nothing. put to sleep. Felt me. A day later, at a special nothing. service, Christian read out the eulogy, which he wrote himself. Like, <laughs> My family, furry friends, Anyone else Very present? Friends. We are gathered here today what? to pay Personally. our last respects and wishes oh, okay. to our dearly beloved Beagle Spitz, Patty, who has departed from our world here on Earth to a doggy heaven where she will be happier because she will run free and play with all the other dogs who are already having fun up there. I will always he, remember I, Patty I wonder if for all the lovely memories she had to, shared like, with me from actual f when I picked her I out of the litter at Sonic my Aunt Karina's house in Red Oak, Virginia. The time the I watched show, my old Sonic best Jr. friend, Sarah Hammer, take Patty by her front paws and danced a bit. The times I've watched her stand on her hind legs and then rewarded her with a biscuit bone. The times I've just sat with her in the yard and petted her head. I've always given her a bolly scratch, where I stroke her head with all five fingers like as if I was gently squeezing a rubber ball. The many times I've fed her a can of food and a cup full of and dry I'm food her and refilled her bucket with fresh water so she can drink it and wash her face. I'm sorry, bro. I was when Patty was brought to the vet on that fateful day, I was distraught with fright and concern for her health. I stayed with her during her final moments with a hand on her head and a tear in my eye. When my mother was brought the paper that gave the doctor permission to send her on her way, I didn't want her to be the one to sign it. I raised Patty since she was a six-week-old pup and I wanted to take the strain for signing that one-way ticket. It was hard for me, but it was for the best. So I signed that paper, with a crying sonichu face saying, We love you, Patty. After that, I gave her my final pets, hug, hand-to-paw hold, eye contact, ear rub, cheek-to-fur rub, and I sadly waved her for the final time, and I said, Goodbye, Patty. I love you. As I stood outside, I heard Patty's last barks, saying, I will always love you, Chris. Thank you. But we all must move on with our lives, with our beloved lucky mutt in our hearts and in our memories. So, Patty, may your old doghouse and surrounding flowers forever memorialize your blessed heart, your barks at the stars and strangers, and your loyal love that you have blessed upon me and my family and friends. Bark on and rest in peace. Our beloved lucky Patty. That was actually surprisingly well put together. What would you do for a PS3 and a chance to be on Robot Chicken? In November, Adult Swim held another contest. This time, encouraging viewers to submit a video wherein they would say what they would do for a PlayStation 3. Christian's video featured the appearance of his own makeshift PS3, which was in fact a PS2 encased in a mix of Lego and pixel block pieces. Nice. Hello, my Look, name that's is just the new PS5, Chandler. wait. Mix of Lego and pixel block pieces. that's just the fucking pieces. PS5. Hello, my name is Christian Weston Chandler, of Rockersville, Virginia. What would you do for a PS3? What I would do for a PS3? I'd tell you what I'd do. Well, if I had the money, I'd wait in line. Like all the other people did with their tents and all that good stuff. But I'm poor. I'd a cure for autism, if I had it. Because I want to get rid of that dog, dog gone long, lifelong curse. I'd that throw guy. away the cure for autism? And, uh... Oh yeah, I would trade in my PS2 for another thing. Or uh, otherwise, um, didn't he say he didn't have a PS2 and he hated PlayStation? 
You said then like the first uh, you know two what episodes. I did? I did it. I made it. Made one from Legos and pizza blocks. And believe it or not, it works. I actually play guitar here on this thing. <gasps> Thunder horse. In the beginning of 2007, Christian started working on a DVD called Yep, I'm on TV, which would become a collection of all his TV appearances and his homemade videos, in addition to a slideshow of his pictures up to 2007. He planned to make and release it to only a small selection of people, including Mrs. Sanford, with whom he got in touch via email. You may be able to help me in a portion of it now. There will be a slideshow projected from my PlayStation Portable, featuring not only pics of me growing up, but the friends, teachers, and relatives I've known and remembered, either from heart, like yourself, as well as yearbook signatures. As for what had happened during PBCC, in a nutshell, about midsummer 2003, I've realized upon revelation that I needed a girlfriend to make into a sweetheart from the ground up. So, with a sign, which I've later realized that it made me look slow-minded, the R word, I've started my enduring love quest. The Dean of Student Services, Mary he sent this Lee to Walsh, his came out teacher. and tore my sign up right in front of me and said, You're not gonna get a girlfriend this way or any way. That b shattered my heart and murdered my soul. And it wasn't just her. Murdered my the policemen soul. imposters in brown, white, and red, aka the jerk ops, blue and black are the true police soldiers. Also seriously indented the impression that Virginia is for virgins, not lovers. He talked about his high hopes for a future with Megan and ensured his former teacher that she would receive a copy of the DVD. Three days before his birthday, he completed Sonichu issue 6. The first story, titled Episode 12.5, is strikingly saying. distinct from all the episodes thus far, which stars his recently deceased dog, Patty. The story opens with a creative oh, blend of photographic backgrounds kind of, and a hand-drawn Patty well, who wishes she could speak so she could thank Christian for all he has done for her. The next morning, Christian walks outside to feed her, only to discover his dog has transformed into an anthropomorphic dog-like creature who can talk. They spend some leisurely time together, and she tells Chris that she wishes to roam free outside her pen. Chris leads her indoors and shows her his room, which Patty calls crowded, and suggests that if he got a girlfriend, she would help him tidy up. Using a Nintendo DS, Chris reveals a portal which opens up to Quickville Is that and declares the, the town Patty's new roaming grounds, where she can finally explore with freedom. The final page of the story is a simple full-page tribute to Patty Chandler. The next episode resumes where the last comic left off. As Chris and the gang debate the best way to rescue Crystal, they come to the conclusion that they need to acquire the seven Sonichu balls to save her. They discover an evil green Sonichu, who then envelops Chris in a dark dimension in which he announces himself as the Sonichu form of Natsurk, who then reveals his true true form and declares that he is, in fact, Reldnak Natsu Natsurk. As the name implies, he is completely the opposite of Christian, with his semi-bare chest symbolizing his raging homosexuality, <gasps> Let's which go! qualifies and offends Chris. Meanwhile, Black Sonichu announces that he has turned his back on Natsurk, and now he is on friendly terms with Chris's friends, and has also all of a sudden developed a romantic interest in Bubbles. Chris and Natsurk transform into their Sonichu forms and battle, until Chris Chan somehow ends up back in Manchester High School. Just as Natsurk is about to deal the final blow, a phantom basketball knocks him unconscious. Chris is woken up by Megan, who tells him that Natsurk fell into a coma after hitting his head on the bleachers and is currently in the hospital. Bionic the Hedgehog reveals himself as the one who wielded the basketball at Bionic Natsurk's the head. Hedgehog, yo. They reminisce about old times and how Chris hasn't drawn Bionic since 2004. Chris laments that he is 25 years old, having never even had a date. The dialogue suddenly becomes a promo for his up-and-coming Yup, I'm on TV DVD, which would not be available for purchase. The scene cuts to 10 weeks later, when Natsurk awakens from his coma with a fiery urge to murder Bionic the Hedgehog. How does he know about it? On him? February 24th, 2007, he got knocked out Christian in the celebrated his very special nailed. 25th birthday. He held the joint birthday and DVD launch party at what appeared to be the game place. To mark the special occasion and to instill his wisdom unto others, he recorded his important message video, in which he reflects on all he has learned over the course of his life. He wished for it to become an educational video shown in schools, 
but this goal has yet to be accomplished. Hello ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, and dudes of all teenagers, as well as the uh, gals. My name Ooh, is Christian gals. Chandler, I am here, and y'all are there. <laughs> this message is for everyone of the present and the future beyond this date, February 24th, 2007. My birthday, my 25th birthday. I am high functioning yeah. autistic, and in my 25 years, <laughs> I've seen and learned autistic. so much. And today, like I am sure to share some wise words right. that I hope each and every one of you will take that he to heart is, like, he and allow for yourself is. and everyone else a better prior future. I am high functioning autistic. This audience not to That's take not up dirty habits like drinking or smoking. You should avoid at all costs. Smoking, drinking alcohol, What's and taking similar smoking, icky, drinking. dangerous stuff. And smoking will eventually cause cancer. And it will you'll be more likely to get heart attack, viruses, and your life will be cut drastically this a short. True fucking piece they don't of call it? cigarettes and cigars death sticks from not turning other than death killing sticks. you slowly. If I could, I would take every last ounce of tobacco, put them on a rocket, tobacco. and shoot them up to the moon. He encourages boys to buy a My Little Pony figure to get accustomed to the female form and pretend to treat it like the girl they like. If you're a young what? gentleman, I recommend buying yourself a My Little Pony figure of your favorite color or whatever. Now, no. uh, stroking the hair of said pony see. is very relaxing and therapeutic and also rubbing it against your cheek. Mm -hmm. That's nice. And also, uh, you can pretend that uh, the pony is uh, that girl you want to take you want to take out too. You yeah. want to take out sometime. I think I'm going to and hop talk off. to the pony like you would talk to the girl. Late. It's 5:30 a.m. Well, it's a tad bit over late, but I have to get a certain amount of sleep, and I'm trying not to die. All right.